describe him and describe his contributions to the church? Gene was a really brilliant guy who was very modest and very um, workmanlike. And you never, you never knew that he thought he was hot stuff, but he really was. He's the one who put us all together, for instance. He got Larry Gelbart in, involved in it. He got the cast together, uh, along with his, the, the help of uh, Bert Metcalf, who, uh, uh, as time went on, became the, the, uh, the producer himself. Uh, I mean, he was an associate producer in the beginning and, and, and then later became the you know, executive producer, I guess. And, and, uh, and Gene, Gene was, I'll, I'll tell you how modest he was. While we were doing MASH, he went to UCLA to take a course in short story so he could learn more about story. You know, he, did, he, he, he didn't act like he knew it already. And he had been producing television shows for a long time at that point. And he was one of the best directors I ever worked with. And he set the visual style, much of which he borrowed from uh, Altman. Uh, I mean, we owe a lot to Altman uh, because of that. Uh, uh, what was his specific talent as a director that stood, stood apart? Uh, Gene was w not only wonderful with the camera, he also was wonderful with actors, and you often don't get that combination. He would get the actors to bring out uh, w what it was about themselves that was uh, human and genuine, and not just give a slick external comic performance. Um, he, was, he, he knew what was funny, but he also knew what was human, and I, and I, uh, I learned a lot from him as a director. He, he, he had a tremendous amount of experience in getting it on film and getting it on film in a television schedule, on a television schedule, which, is, uh, which means working fast. And it is possible to be good and fast at the same time. Sometimes you get a benefit from being fast um, that you don't get if you linger over things.